All right, so the next across the floor that I have them doing after their kicks and kick variations are chassés across the floor. Very basic. I just, again, since it's a more jazzy class, I have them. I say airplane arms, even though, you know, ballet, we never say airplane arms. But for this class, it's okay. It's more jazzy. So I have them make their airplane arms, and then I they really like this. I say, all right, we're going to work on our chassis across the floor, otherwise known as zippers because we zip, zip, zip across the floor. Now, dancers, what do you think looks nicer? Should I go like this? And then they always laugh Mommy. about that. I'm like, do we look like cowboys when we do Mommy. zippers? Or do we squeeze our legs together and point our toes and jump? And of course they say, we squeeze our legs and point our toes and jump. So for that one, they hold their arms out. I say, hold your airplane arms. And then we're gonna do our chassis across the floor one front at a time. So I always let them do a practice round as a group just to get it first. Um, chassis are hard on the mat. So since you have the mats lined up for when they did their floor stretch and kicks and then when they do their tumbling work later, I typically have them go behind the mat. So, and you can even, if it starts getting like tiresome for them, you can have two at a time go instead of one at a time. Um, so they'll do their airplane arms, we start the music, and then they just shoot them all the way across to the other side of the room. In the next group or single person, all the way across. Then we start over and have them repeat going back the other direction. Those are just, you know, simple chassis. And again, correcting them as they go across the floor, like, good job, or hold your arms still, or, you know, whatever feedback you can give.